Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Today we are going to explore the fire element. And if you've been watching the channel recently, you know that I've explained the fire element quite a lot in recent videos. So if you want, you can just go on the channel homepage, click on videos and you'll see some recent videos all about fire. So I'll just quickly talk you through the different piles. We've got, of course, pile one, which is the first house of fire, and that's a sidereal Vedic chart. We've got the fifth house of fire for pile two, and pile three, you're gonna be exploring the ninth house of fire. So whichever one you feel drawn to, just pick one and see how you resonate. All right, so group one, you chose the first house of fire. Let's take a look at your cards. Now, in all of my readings, I always ask people to use, you know, use your own intuition as we go. See what comes into your mind. So we've got the restless mind here. This, of course, is Arjuna. This is Lord Krishna. This is a card from a really special deck, the Bhagavad Gita deck. It's very beautiful. And you know, with these pick a card readings, it's really just a tool for self-reflection. So use your intuition, see what message is right for you or is something you needed to hear and see what you need to discard. Okay, we've got the Hierophant, a card which is in the tarot, it represents Taurus. I might put that up there, here we go. And that's reversed. We've got the chariot upright. This represents cancer. And then finally, we've got the justice card. And this represents Libra, those weighing scales there. There's also a sword here, which is air, which is Libra. Yeah, that's, uh, well, yeah, seventh house air. That's true. All right, and we've got growth from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. And this is affecting you, your whole entire self. This is actually a really big reading um, in that we've got a lot of major arcana here. We've got all major arcana. So I feel like, and this is to do with you and your entire sense of self. It's the first house, it's the fire, it's that flame that is you, right? So this is major. This is a really big reading. And you've got this restless mind here. What I will do as well is I am going to read the back of these because the the message for these is just contained here. There isn't a book, but of course you could read the Bhagavad Gita if you wanted a book for this. But um, it says here, the yoga practitioner whose mind is unbridled can never attain self-realization. Only one who has mastered the self and who strives by right means is assured of success. Absolutely. I do believe that this spread is really asking you to master your mind at this time. I also feel like there's something absolutely massive that's trying to come into your world. It's trying to be birthed. It's trying to manifest. And I feel like it's a project it's something you're creating to serve others okay that's Libra that's the justice card it's you're trying to create or birth something a project a business something that's very close and dear to your heart close and dear to you who you are you're putting skin in the game you're putting some of yourself your flame into this big massive project that you are trying to birth. It's for other people. You do want to serve. 
through this venture or through this thing that you're trying to make happen. And it's gonna take time, it's gonna happen, but it's gonna take time. What has been happening is that you've, you've become stuck in um, cyclical old patterns right you, you kind of, you've been going around in circles a bit or you are um, stuck in old ways of being old modes it's like old rituals maybe um, life has become a bit groundhog day or you just keep doing the same things it's but you've what you've got to do <clears throat> is you've got to stop that <laughs> and you need movement you need change all right you have to change there's something about your daily routine or there's something about what you're doing that's cyclical and repetitive there's a restless mind here as well okay and for me the the problem in this spread or the challenge in this spread or the challenge in the story right now it's here um, it's a restless mind and it's these cyclical patterns there's something that you just keep doing that ideally you've got to put it to rest really um, maybe it's a habit maybe maybe it's something like I don't know you keep waking up every day and the first thing you do is you check your phone whereas it would be better to not check your phone and get stuck in messages and emails and it would be better to do some yoga and make a really healthy breakfast right it's like there's something like that something has to change there needs movement there needs change you need to move forward as well this thing that you're trying to bring to the earth it's going to happen and it's like the next stage of your growth is coming through you're going to be given energy to do this everything's very positive by the way it's just it's just there's some habitual thing some traditions something that you could do with breaking and stopping and changing and moving on from and then you'll really be able to connect in with what it is you're trying to birth because it really wants to come through right um, there's growth this waxing moon here there's new energy growth energy next phase of your development uh, of growth is here for you it's wanting to come in it really wants to come in and It'll also give you the energy and the time and resources and everything you need will come as long as you do, as long as you get on. And because we are dealing with the fire element and the fire element this time around is very much asking everybody in all the groups actually uh, to get on and do, right? You've got things to do. It doesn't mean that you overwork. It doesn't mean that you burn yourself out. It just means that some habits and I would say they could be mental habits but I Taurus is here so I do think that they could be it could be to do with the physical body it could even be to do with your diet right it could be something needs to change you've been doing some repetitive thing that could quite frankly do with with changing once you do that there'll be movement you'll be able to bring in that next level of energy that next level of manifestation that wants to come in i do believe that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest i feel like it's huge um and i think i've said that to group one before on one of these readings i, I feel like and we're kind of back to that but it's like the next layer or level of it is wanting to come through it just requires a little bit of change on your part a bit of movement so it's quite a good reading overall group one i think this is this is good this is positive and it's not like you have to reinvent the wheel or anything like that a lot of this is saying it's great especially this energy and we've got major arcana energy here it's really really good just some cyclical habitual thing could do with change and you can if you can burn it up and you know let that go and not do it anymore that'd be amazing but i mean it could just be a simple shift it could just be as i say changing that morning routine a little bit but there's something about your habits or routine that 
could do with a change. So I hope that has been a good reading for you, Group 1. Please let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe as well. Please hit the like button. It helps me out so much when you do that and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching and we're now going to move to Group 2. Hi Group 2, welcome to your reading. Those of you who chose the fifth house of fire, let's take a look and see what is in your set. Now as with any of my readings, what I always ask you to do is use your intuition as we go. Look at the symbols, at the imagery, see what comes up for you. And I'll of course give you my interpretation as well, but you know, you've always got to use your intuition with any reading because you have to see how you feel about things. That's the most important part of a reading, right? I always tell my clients that the most exciting part of any reading is not so much what I'm going to say, it's more so how you're going to feel as the words, or in this case, the images come in. All right, so we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look here. We're in the next one. Got the Page of Swords in reverse. This is the Morgan Greer Tarot. I really love the colors on this deck. I think they're so vivid and beautiful. I love the full bleed imagery as well. King of Swords upright. Fantastic. Okay. And then we've got these beautiful ethereal, I think it's called ethereal orbs. Have I got that right? Let me check the box. Ethereal orbs, oracle deck. I love this deck. We've got Nahayim. Nahayim? Nahayim? I think I've said that right. We've got the Sagittarius symbol there. Hunt and purpose. It says, if reaching a goal is your command, your desires you must learn to master. Absolutely. And we've got one more, which is Capricorn. And it says here, I love how these shine and shimmer. It says here, when your heart seeks liberty and your mind asks for mercy, free your spirit from mundane duties. Wow. It's beautiful. And of course you have chosen the fifth house of fire. Now it's really interesting when I was drawing all the different cards for all the different groups, I was very excited about the fifth house because I thought, oh, this could be romance. This could be like a twin flame thing or this could be <laughs> something like that because I haven't done a twin flame reading. If you are a twin flame in separation and you would like me to do one of those like a twin flame reading please comment below and i will do one the reason i don't i haven't done one yet is because i'm not quite sure if there'll be a demand for that i don't know because i know quite a few of my clients are actually married and things like that so i don't know if um if you would like that but um not to say that you know people who are married aren't twin flames no uh, but I would just want to know if there's a demand for that. Okay, let's get into your reading. <laughs> let's get into what your spread is all about. Now, this is a really interesting spread. As I said, I, I was hoping it would be about romance, but it's actually, it's really not. Um, so I'm just going to read and tell you what I see. What I see is that you've definitely got to be following your North Node a bit more. And that's something you'll want to look up in your chart and know. But it feels like you need to be making progress um, a bit more in that area. I, I, what I get from this spread for you guys is that I think you've been burnt out. And that I'm getting that here. You're either thoroughly burnt out or you are going to come out of burnout. Okay, so you're either in deep rest and recuperation and you're needing to be there right now or you're just very soon about to come out of it okay um sometimes very soon what does that mean it's an interesting one like when the angels tell you it's very soon and then you know it's some weeks or months later i don't know the time frame but 
um, and we don't have well this is the only little bit of fire um, there's nothing to indicate time but what I will say is that you're either needing to recuperate or you're coming out of recuperation you certainly will be now why were you in recuperation why did that happen well it's I think because you've been dealing with some rather draining people to be quite honest I think um, you possibly been dealing with people who are all talk or people who say that you know like they they I'm gonna this is gonna sound mean but I'm just gonna say it <laughs> like they kind of they claim to be all spiritual and like oh yeah I'm into all that stuff but then they don't actually do it or apply it or and that's hugely frustrating it's hugely draining is what it is and it will put you in this situation if you spend too much time with people who you know on the surface they're all like yeah I love all that spiritual stuff but then they never do anything and perhaps they quite like spending time with you of course they would because look at this you've got this here right <laughs> so you've got access to the truth you're very expertly able to listen to somebody and figure out their stuff and give them the great advice and say all the right things and you know you've got this tremendous power and this gift of insight of knowing of being able to help somebody of being able to say the right thing and all this kind of thing but unfortunately i tell you these people they listen to all that they love it yet they don't care and they don't act on it they just they they don't want to and that's hugely frustrating and it will you'll you might need to shield yourself from them you might need a bit of time out from those kind of people um, because you walk your talk okay and it's important that you realize and you're probably a bit of an empath and you probably need to um, you do need to take time out from those kind of people what do I mean by what was there where was I going with that the empath bit gosh there's just a thought that came into my mind and it started out no nope, I think it's gone hopefully it comes back let's see if it comes back the other thing I know that you apply what you do because you've got this fifth house of fire here so you do walk your talk that is for sure right I, I can see this so because you've, you've you've got this here the other thing is we've got a bit of a teacher here as well in you you're able to teach this stuff as well and I think that's what's waiting for you once you come out of this phase of rest and recuperation this thing's going to light up that ninth house is going to light up where you are giving okay where you are teaching where you are serving where you are you're not having to be drained by any of this okay that's that's got to be a thing of the past hopefully that empath thing comes back sometimes ideas they come they fly into my mind then they fly out just as quickly if I don't catch them so we've got the teacher in you as well because there's a Sagittarius that's Sagittarian fire here and we've got Capricorn what are we doing here with Capricorn well this really links in to this because that is another thing that I see coming in for you it's greater prosperity and it's likely linked in with your gift okay with your gift and ability to see what others don't see and be able to say and speak uh, so beautifully and insightfully in the way that you do you've got the gift you can do it and you've got this here so that's definitely what's telling me that so that this is telling me that you can make money from this yes teaching is a component of what you do and um, there's money here for you right Capricorn energy that's money and the north side of things in Vedic astrology well in Vastu I should say sorry not in Vedic astrology in Vastu north is associated with wealth so one thing that you might want to do is you might want to look at the north side of your home or where you live and give that a good clear out um, if there's any stuck energy 
if it's messy, clogged up with boxes, you know, boxes that are full of stuff and, the, you know, you might want to clear the north side of your home. Give that a really good clear out um, and that should help as well. And, and you're going to need some boundaries around people who don't walk their talk. Um, but who kind of, and that's what I, I, that's probably what I was saying about the empath thing. I was probably wanting to say something like, you know, they just like your supply. That's what I wanted to say. You've got to be careful with your supply. Okay, you've got to be careful. It's like a drug. <laughs> and you've got to be careful with how you give it out. You've got to be responsible. You've got to be a responsible dealer of your supply. Your beautiful, intelligent, sharp, witty, clever supply. Okay, um, because otherwise people, you know, yes, they just become addicted and they just like the supply. You give them all this great advice, but then they don't do anything about it, isn't it? And how frustrating is that? That will put you in that situation there, the Four of Swords. So it's just about awareness, I think, for you guys. I don't think you have to do too much. Um, this question, are you ready for change? Yeah, I do think so. And I think the change that's coming in is good because it's about money and it's about more money coming in. And I, I really, when it was fifth house and I was drawing the cards for this one, I honestly wanted it to be about romance because I just wanted to talk about that stuff. But <laughs> it turns out it's not. It's, um, it's more about being that teacher, using your gift uh, in a way that brings you more money. And I do believe that more money is on the horizon. It's waiting to come in. So are you ready for change? I hope so. I hope you're ready for some form of change to bring that money in. Now, what can you do on a practical level? I think the thing I can recommend from what I see here is just look at the north side of your home, perhaps give it a, a good clear out. So I hope that's been a good reading for you, group number to um, let me know in the comments below how you go with this uh, it always you know inspires me to keep going and I love reading your comments um, the other thing that you could do that would be wonderful is um, please subscribe to the channel and please like this video that helps me out enormously thank you so much and we're now going to meet group number three hi there group number three let's take a look at your spread now, as with any of my readings, what I ask you to do is use your intuition as we go along and see what comes up for you. See what messages are meant for you. See if there's any visuals here. Look at how beautiful this is. Isn't that stunning? Goddess Lakshmi, she is so divine. Okay, let's take a look at what else you've got. What a great start. <laughs> I mean, could this be? And you know, You've chosen the ninth house of fire. Can I just say, when I saw Goddess Lakshmi appear, I was just like, that could not be more perfect because this is the house of fortune and good luck. So you have chosen, and quite frankly, I know what your cards are here. You've chosen the best spread of the lot. <laughs> That's in my, in my humble opinion. Okay, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that you've got the best one. But you do <laughs> you do i check i watch them i look at them all you see before i'm going to put her here I'm do this spread a bit differently and we are going to take a look at this card next asana isn't that beautiful just love the visuals on all these cards i think that's one of the reasons i love because it's like a little art gallery or something I just love looking at all these because you've got the ninth house of fire we're off to a great start we've got a goddess beautiful and we've got the page of swords in reverse this is the anima mundi deck which i really really like it's very pretty let's see try and put these so that Wait. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, I think that works. Queen of Wands. Wonderful. Love this card. 
As I said, you've got a great spread here. I love this spread. I like the other two as well, but I feel like you've got you've got the, the greatest, I don't know, the biggest joy here. Okay, and you've got the magician, right? Now the beautiful thing about the magician, and this card depicts it really in a very stark way, is that it represents all four elements. So we've got fire, earth, air, and water. We've also got these amazing eyes. And it kind of, gosh, what is, is that like a, looks like people. I'm sorry, <laughs> I just stole the card. I had to look at it through my actual eyes as opposed to through the screen. I mean, that's just lovely. It's the butterfly, it's ready to go, you know. I've got an infinity symbol here. I mean, the magician, this is one of the best cards to get. It also represents Aries. Okay, it's a major arcana, it represents Aries. So what have we got going on here? Well, let me tell you. As I said, this is such a glorious, beautiful spread to, to have. Um, because you've got God Goddess Lakshmi right here. She wants to come into your home. And that's what I will say. Gosh, this is not working out at all. I'm like a total mess here. Okay, I won't touch them. Hold on, I'll just make it look good on the screen. And then I won't touch them. Okay, I think that's good. Right. You've got... Go on, go on, go on fuzzy. You've got one of the best spreads here. Um, really, I mean, it's... I thought before drawing the cards for the ninth house. I actually thought the fifth house was going to have the romance and the love and all the wonderful stuff. And it's funny because there's a bit more, uh, I would say sort of work orientated, whereas yours is genuine. It is ninth house, luck and fortune and all that beautiful stuff. So it, it, it's a really good fire spread. You've got the goddess of fortune here. She wants to come into your home. Now, I think the main message really that's coming from this spread is that you need to give your home a very good clean out, clear out, because Goddess Lakshmi only goes into a clean home, right? And she wants to come to you. She's come to you now, okay? So she's already here, but she wants to come into your life even more and bless you even more. Let's take a look at the back of this card just so that you get um, the full description of what's going on here. So we've got here, Oh Maha Lakshmi, Bestower of success and intelligence, worldly enjoyment and liberation, I bow down to you, O goddess, whose form is the mystic syllable. So what blessings are here for you? You've got improved social status, increased wealth and luxuries, career promotion or acknowledgement, good and faithful marriage partner, especially a wife. So that is fantastic. Now, is all of that going to come in at once? I doubt it. <laughs> um, but it's coming, okay? And it's here. You've manifested it. It's very much here. Why am I saying it's not going to come all at once? Okay. Um, Page of Swords. How did I interpret that for you guys this time? The thing I feel like you need to do, I remember when I was thinking about this earlier, because I have a look at all of the cards beforehand. This to me wasn't too much of a problem. Um, it's interesting, this card came up in one of the other groups and it was a bit of an issue. It was, for them, it was, I had the interpretation that they were dealing with manipulative people. For you, I'm not going to, uh, I don't have that interpretation because of the other cards that are with it. I read them all at once. And um, we've got the butterfly just, just coming out here. There's a bit of a stall. There's just a bit of a stall. You're, you are going to bloom. You are going to fly. It's here. You've manifested it. This is a little bit in the future. I feel like the only work you need to do, that's right, I remember now. The only work you really need to do is you need to connect in a bit more with your body. Okay? And that's this card here. You need to connect more with your physical body. Do some yoga. Um, lavish yourself, luxuriate, take baths, look after yourself, treasure yourself, rest, relax, clean the inside of your body and your mind as well. Okay, um, nothing major, 
we're just talking small little things and clean your home what i get the one vibe that i get from this is um that you kind of need to you need a little bit of time out you need a little bit of okay work with the body and work with cleaning your house and what this is doing is it's getting you more physical okay it's getting you more physical it's it's getting the fire going it's it's getting you excited for life again it's it's all that kind of energy you need to get fired up and excited about life again not through your mind okay not through your mind and that is a big thing that's right i remember yeah with this group it was very much about you need to put down the laptop <laughs> you need to put down youtube you need to put down internet and phone and books and mind stuff you've been getting involved in mindset which is great okay i'm saying that because of ninth house of fire um people who are here tend to be very mind-based and what's happening is the stall in energy is just because you need to connect in with your body and the mother earth and the ground and your house and your space and you need to put the internet down <laughs> maybe after this video um, you might want to i don't know do something different but i mean you might want to binge watch a few more videos as well which is what i always do but um i know i'm having to follow some of this guidance as well and the other night because I, I just get addicted to watching youtube i said to myself i'm going to close the laptop early and whatever enjoyment i think i'm going to get from a video i'm going to give that to myself i'm going to reach within myself okay and i'm not saying i'm this but i'll tell you what <laughs> we have access to that flame within us and a little bit of that flame it's a, it's a bit of god right so can we through um you know putting down the mind stuff and the books and the laptop and all that stuff can we put that down for a little while and can we feel into our bodies can we clean our homes you know do the gardening do the weeding whatever it is clean the house vacuum and, and also t body care right big time look after your body a bit more um even though you, you might be very good at that already but uh you know just maybe it's rest maybe you need to find and enjoy and master because we've got the ninth house here master true rest what is the meaning of rest do you truly know how to rest how to be well how to be this you know the queen of wands i mean isn't this a, isn't this just the best spread ever i just thought i was so impressed by this one so whoever's come into group three like you've got beautiful energy and you are totally divine like you are here like you know, I, the, the, I don't have too much in the way of guidance. Um, in terms of answering the question, are you ready for change? Yeah, absolutely. I, I could see that, that change will be easy for you guys. Um, you know, really easy. I, I don't, don't see anything too complicated here. But I guess one message to take out is um, devote a bit of time to... Um, to your physical body to beauty to you know maybe you need a spa day or something um and uh and all as well clearing out your your physical home every now and then we do need a little reminder don't we to do a bit of clutter clearing and yeah that's the message for you group number three so thank you so much for stopping by really really appreciate it um, if you'd like you're very welcome to leave a comment below let me know how this goes it really helps me to see how these are working for you guys and um, also please subscribe to the channel that really helps me a lot as well and please do give this video a like if you enjoyed it and of course feel free to share it and all that kind of wonderful stuff so thank you so much and i look forward to seeing you next time